Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I'm here today to work on this um, envelope for the journal, the fall journal. And I'll show you guys what I did yesterday. I worked on it for about three hours, I think it was. But anyways, I um, this is all dried, and that's what it ended up looking like in the end. And then I added a piece of fall type fabric with some acorns and leaves, and it's I put some batting behind it so it's a little bit soft and just stitched around it and then added an image of a turkey. That's a vintage postcard that I found on New York Public Library so it's not the original, it's just a printed version. And then I stitched a little fabric across the bottom and there's a piece of lace and burlap and then I stitched two of these fabric leaves together. They're glued down and then there's a um, bold pin with a leaf and a little red you know, bead on it. And what else? I think that's all. Oh, I spritzed over the top of it with some of the mica powder just to give it a little sparkle. And I don't know if you can see on camera, but um, you can definitely see it in person. Then on the inside, I put some Graphic 45 paper. This is from their um, It's Raining Cats and Dogs or something like that. Um, and then this is one of Denise's Denise from Wonder Bar Crafts. That's one of the tags from her Fickle Fall. These are also in her Fickle Fall, so it's um, I just stitched them together. It's a stack of grocery lists. So there's, you know, more than one. Thanksgiving grocery list. And it just goes in there. And then uh, this is one of the cards that I collaged on book page and I just added some fabric, a couple of washi sticker leaves, and then this image of the two people at the harvest. And then we have our pages here. That's the envelope thing that we did together. And then I have the pages, these ones that um, we need to make journaling cards for. And yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. I um, just got sidetracked with the envelope thing, but the envelope thing I'm going to make will go in here, so it's just another piece of ephemera. So I was, uh, I watched Dee Dee uh, Farrago yesterday, and she was playing with these envelopes with this, um, the windows in them, you know, and then it got me thinking, if I cut this part off, So that then we have a skinny piece and then I just want to fold, I'm trying to think how I want to, I think I'm going to fold it over this way and that will get glued shut. I'm going to fold it like this and take this end off. I do want quite a bit left though. And then we're going to do like we do with a, uh, what do you call it, coin envelope. I'm really in the coin envelope mode for some reason. So I'm just going to cut this part off. And cut this off. And then I think instead of like doing the slanted line, I'm just going to round these corners on this. And it's it's a big flap, but I kind of wanted it to be a big flap, I think. I need to see what it looks like. So I hope you guys are all having a good day. It's pretty nice here, just, you know, hot. It's August, so par for the course. Oh, I might have to cut more off because I don't really want it going over the flap. I didn't even check that. I thought I had made it short enough. Let's see. I have to cut off quite a bit. Darn, I wanted it a little bit longer, but it's okay. Now, it, yeah, now it's good. Let's try that again. Okay. So now it'll just be, you know, basically a coin envelope. <clears throat> and I'm just going to give this a good 
crease so hopefully it doesn't pop up all the time. And we're going to glue that side closed so that it's a true little like coin envelope. Yeah, I don't know why, but just seeing her, you know, messing around with the envelopes for some reason I was thinking of this. <laughs> it's so funny how it can be completely unrelated and it just pops into your brain. But yeah, sorry, I got glue stuck on the top, of course. Forgot to take it off beforehand. And I'm trying to stay pretty small and narrow here close to the edge so that you know, we can have as much of our envelope as possible. Oh, you know what I just thought of real quick before we do that? Let's get a thumb hole in here because that's pretty uh, high. So we want to have room to be able to get out whatever's in here. I'm just trying to see. There we go. Oh, you know what else I want to do? Oh, my goodness, here I go again. Um, I want to cover the inside of this first so that um, it's not blue because that's not going to go with what we got going on. So we'll close that in a minute. I got ahead of myself. All right. So I have some papers from Denise. <coughs> Denise's Digi. Just trying to think. I don't know if I want to use them on the outside or the inside. Maybe I'll put this one on the inside, just right in there. And we'll have a tag too, so some of this won't always be seen, but at least when you take the um, tag or whatever out, you'll have some sort of image. roughly we don't need it obviously as wide as that because um, you're not going to see a lot of it but oops let's get it. I'm using my Arteza mat to measure a little the little measuring that I do <laughs> alright so that will Oh yeah, that's going to be seen up at the top, so I'm wondering, maybe I should, I can put a little something else there, let's take this off, yeah, I forgot about that part. I was just worried about the window, but I think I want to do that. I think that will work. We'll just put a little something else over there as well. Because we'll have to cover this too. So what else could we put? This. All kinds of scraps and flying. So I think I'll cut one or tear one the width, basically. And then um, I'll just have it go down a little bit further. See, when you're just flying by the seat of your pants when you haven't made <laughs> like a prototype, then um, it can be tricky. I didn't get that wide enough still. Yeah, I need a wider piece. I'll use that for something else. What I'm doing. Okay, Yeesh. come down to here, 
and then we'll round the corners. Tear it off the top too. To cover up that flap. I keep forgetting to order a new one of those. put it in and then I'll cut the extra off. It's always interesting when you're measuring on the outside. Oh, those are not glue book pages. This side and I'll wait till we're we get it the right size to do the other side. Not a whole lot going on here this morning. <clears throat> ran to the post office and watered and all that before it gets too, too hot. I did go see the kids at band camp yesterday, but <clears throat> It's just really weird with the whole COVID thing, you know. They all have to stand apart, and like I said, we don't get to serve them lunch and stuff, so it's just different. That's the fun stuff when you get to feed them. Because <laughs> they are always very happy you and not so much when you're just griping at them about putting on a mask and standing apart <laughs> as I'm sure you can imagine okay so now it won't really make a difference um, I'll just try to get it so that at least in the that part you can see And I don't need to ink this because you're not going to see the edges. <clears throat> I'm almost out of glue stick here, but I have another one. Ordered some more. Oh yeah, and I was going to tell you guys, um, if you've noticed that a lot of people have a lot of ads, <laughs> it's because... Um, YouTube has put in mid-roll ads and we, we have to go in and turn them off for all of our videos if we don't want them and they're two minutes apart. So um, just be patient with people because and they may not even realize that all of their um, videos are going to have that many ads because they sent us out an email saying they were going to do mid-roll ads but it sort of sounded like they were going to do like one. <laughs> and like I had one video that had 17 mid-roll ads. So anyway, um, it just might take people a while to get it all figured out and, you know, the way they want it or whatever. I went in and turned all mine off that I know of. So if you run across a video that has, <clears throat> you know, mid-roll ads every two minutes, let me know and I'll you know, go turn off, but I think I turned it off for all of them. But I know, like, Gail, um, she had surgery, so, you know, she's not feeling awesome, so uh, she had her husband turn them off for her the other day, but just kind of be patient with people, because it's not, like, we're not doing it. It was just done more automatically, and so you know, it's hard to get them all turned off 
And like I said, a lot of people might not even realize that they have as many as that. So, because at first I thought, oh, well, like it wouldn't be horrible to have one, you know, mid-roll ad. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, but then when I realized they were like every two minutes, that wasn't good. So, it's, it might just take a minute for everybody to get it figured out. I'm going to just go like, I think I'll come from here. Yeah, this one's in um, Denise's Fickle Fall Digital. Yeah, you had a choice to opt out of those ads, but uh, like I said, I thought if it was one, it wouldn't be that big a deal, and then if I decided I didn't want them, I could just turn them off, but... They made it a little more complicated than that. <laughs> so, yeah. It wasn't the easiest thing to figure out at first. I mean, I'm not really sure why they did it the way they did it because I don't really know anybody that would want an ad every two minutes in their videos because I would assume that you're going to lose subscribers. That's kind of what I said to YouTube, but I don't know. Anyway, so... But we'll see how it goes as long as I can remember to turn them off every time. Because that's the other thing. Every time you upload a video, you have to opt out or they are on your video again. <laughs> so, anyway. It's kind of crazy. Alright. I think that that is going to work there. just want a little tiny bit more, but I don't want to take too much out and then be able to see. I don't want to see the white part. I don't want to rip this leaf a whole bunch. Yeah, that'll work. You can see a tiny bit, but I'll just ink that. <clears throat> and if there's anything hanging over, I'll chop it off. So yeah, if you just um, if you do run into a video that has a whole bunch, just maybe you know, nicely mention that, because like I said, I didn't realize how many were in some of those videos. It was crazy when I went and looked. And now I can glue this closed. But if you liked the look, of, like you were doing something where that blue or whatever design is in your envelope works for what you're doing, you don't have to cover it up in there. You could just leave it like that. I didn't even measure this. I hope it's not too long. I just had that thought. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, it's not even too long. Or no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Yeah, no, it's fine. So that's another thing. Check and make sure that you're envelope portion that you're using is not too long for your page. Make sure into that first. I'm just going to go around here a little bit. Just so we know we won't see any of the white, white, white.
Okay. Yeah, at first I thought when I noticed, you know, some people had so many ads, I thought um, it was like a glitch, you know, like they were trying to implement that mid-roll ad thing and it was a glitch, but it wasn't. <laughs> It was intentional. I just need to trim this a little. I got a little too high. Okay, and this needs to be trimmed off. I love these leaf, this leaf paper that Denise did. It's cute. Okay. I'll make sure that's opening. And this. Make some journaling cards out of those. I love the color of this paper. I got these um, tickets from M Ephemera. M Ephemera's Treasures, and it's all about tickets. And I'll link it in the description box below. And there's there's more pages of them. I just printed out the ones that would you know go well with what I'm doing today. I was just checking what they were. This is for ice. There's swimming pool and all kinds of different ones, but this one would look really kind of cool down there. I'm going to tear it out though. Because it's kind of got a torn edge all the way around and I want to keep that look. down there. And I could use a piece of this. I don't know if you'll be able to tell what that is though. This is already maze. It's a piece of this green work. Um, trying to think how I want it. Maybe I want it like this, and I'll tear it because I don't want it completely even. Kind of like this edge is, you know. Just try to tear just a tiny bit off this side. right there but it's fine. I just don't want to cover up so much of the window that when we put something in there you can't really see it. So thanks, Dee Dee, for getting me started on the envelopes. <laughs> it's 
so funny how you watch one thing and even if you don't do the same thing it just sets you off on a tangent oh yeah see that gets covered anyways so that's fine So I think what I'll do, I want to see what one of these, yeah, they're long enough, except I just ripped that one weird, I'll save it for something else. I'm going to use one of these for um, a tag thing to go inside of there. Because the color is great. It's just almost perfect. I mean, I'll probably have to take a little bit off of it, but <laughs> get that out of there. Yeah, we'll just take a little bit off. I'll leave that side and we'll tear just a tiny bit off of this side. I'm going to go off the bottom because I love the color of that paper up at the top. So we need just about where the words are. Okay. And then I have these are from my um, 18th century coloring book. And it's double pages. I just shrunk them down and did four pages um, on one sheet of paper but normally you know this would be half the page and this would be the other half of the page so you could fold them in half and do journaling pages with them but I shrunk it down so that I could put them on here I think I'll just tear it out I want the sunflower and things. Let's see if I can rip this. Okay. It doesn't rip super great, but stick to it. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out which side I like better. This one's a little bit rougher looking. Ish. 
really doesn't tear straight, but a piece of straw paper. Under, maybe. Oh, I want to be able to see at least a little bit of the sunflower through there if possible. Take a little bit more off this side. I think it's this because that's straw paper but it's been scanned and that's the real color of the straw paper. Hmm, needs something else. Like, I think I want to take some of this off. there. And this is from my Follows in the Air Digi. up and I know I ended up covering most of the book page but all right still got that great patina around the edges so This is tricky to glue. Sort of like tea bag or you know those type of things. There's a little red fuzz all over my glue stick. <laughs> I guess you can see a little bit of the book page writing, so that's fun. Glue strings everywhere. Oh, 
hopefully you'll be able to see a bit of that. Before we decide what else we need. Why does it not want to go in there? Try rounding the corners. Yep, you see it. Very cool. Alright, so we need to put something on the back. It'll be easier once it's attached to a page to do this. Okay. I'm thinking straw paper on the back would be good. If I find a piece here. little teeny strip that I have isn't going to be enough. And we can leave a little edge around it. on that too. <clears throat> the corner rounder works pretty good but that um, circle punch is for the birds. And I'll stitch around this. <clears throat> I don't think I'll be adding any fabric at the top because, um, you know, it's got the flap for the coin envelope part of it. So I think I'll just leave it the way it is. As far as that goes. even here. Okay, I feel like that needs a little something else. Okay. for 50 cents. I'm going to lose this spoon, I'm telling you. <laughs> I kind of like that turn. 
turn it over like that. And that's what you'll see through the window. That's cool. I like it. I like how it came out. Oh, we forgot to do the flap. We gotta put something on the flap, huh? And I guess I still gotta trim that down more. It's just not wanting to close because of that. This one's kind of tall too. So what are we going to put on the flap? Maybe some of the greens. The greens would look good. I like that little bit of that edge. edge. Let's do This looks like what disaster this looks like. Okay. And trim it. I'm gonna put a little bit of the book page up there across the top. Let's use this bottom section. problem with wanting torn edges and um, but straight you know it just doesn't really work bottom doesn't really matter it's going to be covered Fingers got gluey ink all over it. And we're going to cut that top bit off. it.
Alrighty, there she is. All ready to go. I'm not sure exactly where I'll put it in here yet, but just so you guys can get an idea. So if go just like right on a page like that. You could make this a tuck back here, which I may do. And then, you know, you can pull that tag in and out. All right, so I hope you guys like that. I hope you have an awesome day. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. And we will chat again soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye now.